too hard on the people who don't have the income and don't have the extra income to absorb those losses. More than a half million current and retired Ohio public employees are now facing health care benefit cuts. Earlier this month, the Ohio Public Employees Retirement Board in Columbus voted 9-2 to two for that reduction. And now some state lawmakers are demanding a full investigation to find out why. Our Five on Your Side investigator Joe Paganakis shares what the board has to say and why retirees say those answers just aren't good enough. Well, concerned Northeast Ohio retired public employees say they need more proof from the OPERS board that cuts in benefits are needed so that its fund can make a financial recovery, something retirees say they can't believe based on stock market performance over the past 18 months. Why, when we were a model retirement system for so many years, now all of a sudden we're in so much trouble. Irene McCullum is a Northeast Ohio retired public employee who is now facing a freeze in her cost of living adjustments and a reduction in state health care benefits. Cuts, she says, could cost her hundreds more a month. Reductions proposed by the OPERS board after it reported there's no more money going into the health care assistance fund and a cost of living adjustment freeze for retirees in order to reduce a $24 billion unfunded liability. But McCollum says her research shows investments made by the fund have been doing well. Why would there be a need when their investment income is so good to take away benefits from us? What happened? What's wrong with this picture? And I'm going to investigate it and follow through on this. State Representative Diane Grandel now proposing a bill that would create a committee to investigate the health care cuts and cap Oprah's salaries. Grandel says 30 Oprah's managers make more than the Ohio governor. I have re received hundreds of phone calls and emails from teachers and police and firemen, you know, as well as the Oprah's people to please follow through on this. Cuts McCollum said will hurt thousands of Northeast Ohio retirees on fixed incomes. It do just does not make any sense to me. And the increase in health care costs and the freeze in the cost of living adjustment for more than a half million public employees is set to take place in January of 2022. Meanwhile, Grendel hopes to have her measure up for a full vote at the end of the year. Reporting here in Cleveland, I'm Five on Your Side investigator Joe Paganakis.